Mm-hmm. Does. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate now is how to present the numbers and close and handle one payment objection. And this will be the lightweight payment explanation objection handling strategy. Where's my... I guess this will work fine. Okay, Linda, um, we've worked hard to put together a fair proposal. And uh, we understand that it has to be fair because you're the judge and jury. If you don't like what the numbers say, um, we know what happens. You know, most people get up, they go back out to the car that they had hoped to sell to us, and they'll do one of two things. Um, most go home, and they'll scream to anybody within earshot how difficult it is to buy a vehicle. Um, but the problem is when you wake up tomorrow morning, what's in your driveway or your garage is the vehicle you had hoped to sell today, and you've you got to start all over. Now, if you're highly energized, highly motivated, you may go to another store today. Um, meet a new salesperson, go through their process, in three to four hours you'll be in exactly the same spot you and I are right now. If that happens, we take full responsibility. Um, we understand the importance of it being fair. That's why we've worked hard to make this work, not just for you, but for us as well. Okay. Now, the car you picked out, um, it is your first choice of color, correct? Yes. Uh, the 2009 Honda Accord equips the way you said it had to be equipped. Right. Okay. Here's your opportunity. Okay. Um, the retail value is fifteen five. The IMVP pricing has been discounted down to fourteen eight thirty. So, prior to trade value, by the way, we'll buy your car for a thousand dollars. We'd like to have it. Thank you. With your fees and your taxes, um, considering no down payment, the bottom line is you own it for fifteen two ninety four fifty six. We've provided you multiple payment options. With zero down, we've given you not one, not two, but three terms. Um, the value of a 48-month term is this. You pay it off sooner, you pay less in finance charges, you build equity faster, and you save money. At 72 months, the payment is more comfortable and more flexible. Obviously, it's more comfortable because it goes from 405 to 301. But when I say flexible, it means you can pay it off sooner if you so desire and gain many of the benefits that you do at 48. You just do it in your own time. At 60 months, it's sort of the best of both worlds. The payment um, drops from 405 to 342. Um, it's a little bit, you'll, you'll save more money than you would at 72, and you still have the flexibility. Now, if you would like to further reduce your payments with the uh, initial investment of 1,000, those are your choices. At 2,000, those are your choices. So if you'll circle an initial to plan that works best for you and okay that right there, we'll get your 2009 Honda ready to drive home. What are all these fees though? I don't know why should I pay for all these fees? Uh, the administration fee, what is that? And electronic filing fee? Okay, the administration fee or dot fee is a fee that every store in the state of Georgia charges. Okay. It is used to offset the administrative fees um, and the uh, required government actions that every dealer has to take every time they sell a car. And of course, this is your new TAVT tax. Um, you pay 6.5% now, but what you don't pay mm -hmm. every year on your birthday is the ad valorem tax that everybody in Georgia has paid, you know, for literally 50 years. Okay. Once you pay this, you don't ever pay the ad valorem again. All you do is pay the $20 uh, re license renewal fee each year. So this will actually save you significant money um, in the long run. So, which of the payments plans works best for you? What about the electronic filing fee? I mean, I'm not... Well, we, we, have, to, we have to file um, for your license from here. We have, right. to do it, we have to do it electronically. Again, this is what the state of Georgia requires us to do. Okay, and that's just our cost to do that for you. And by the way, if we didn't do that, and we, instead we said, you know, it's up to you to go get the license, then you're going to have to take a half a day off work or something like that, go down to the DMV, wait in line. If you've ever been there, you know what a fun place that is. True, true. Um, so this just takes all that burden off you. We do it, but that's what, we, uh, that's what it costs us to do. And you say you guys would have buy my car back for a thousand dollars, just a thousand. After if you recall, and you're supposed to object to the payment, remember? True. 
Object to the payment, Linda, please. Just Say high. the payment yeah, is the payment too is just high. too high. I understand. Um, Linda, we hear that from about everybody that sits in that chair. Uh, nobody ever says, wow, look at the low payment. So it's not a problem. Other than the payment, though, everything else is okay. Nothing else stops you from taking that 2,009 Honda home today, correct? Mm, just the payment. Okay. You know, the payment is the easiest thing in the world to explain. All right. The payment is based on the cost of the standard features on the Honda that you picked out, the cost of the options, um, the age and the year of the car. Obviously, the older the car and the more miles, the lower the payment, the higher uh, and the less miles and younger, the higher the payment. The vehicle condition, our discounts, which we did include in there, the initial investment, which at this point is nothing more than your trade-in, your trade equity, which is $1,000, the TABT taxes, which I explained, and all that yields the balance financed. Now, you're going to have your credit history involved, the age and miles of the vehicle, and the term that you choose. Remember what, remember what I said, short term, saves money, pays it off quicker, equity faster, trade or sell sooner if you so desire. Long term, flexibility and comfortability. Mid term, best of both worlds. That's how we arrive at the payment. So, with all that in mind, which of these works best for you? The 48, the 72, or the 60? Mm, I'll do the 60 months. Okay. Except you're supposed to object three more times. Okay. Mm. The payment uh, still too high. Yes, it is. Okay, I understand. It's almost I, I understand. Three fifty a month, and I understand. And I don't want to give a down payment. I just can't do that. Okay, I understand. Um, let me ask you this. Um, now we're going to go into the payment comparison justification. Linda, um, I'm going to guess that. The payment of 301 to 310, and let's use 310 just for argument's sake. You're saying that's too high because it's too high relative to the payment that you had had previously, which was around 250, right? Right. Okay. Um, again, we hear this a lot, and quite frankly, almost everybody that trades with us would like to keep their payment pretty much the same or reduce it. However, why don't we do, why don't we do this? Why don't we look at the $310 payment, which is required for you to drive the 2009 Honda home versus the payment that you had been making of 250 and see which one provides you the most value, okay? Okay. All right. Your old payment of 250 versus your new payment of 310. That is a $60 difference. Right. Okay? And you know, no two ways about it. That's more money. However, when you look at what each one was getting you, I think you'll find that, well, one or the other has got a lot more value, and you make that call. At $250 a month, you're paying for a $1,000 car. Okay? Gotcha. At $310 a month, you're paying for a $15,000 car. That's a difference of $14,000, okay? Now, I know how to start a riot in Shambly. We start a riot in Shambly by advertising $14,000 cars for $60 a month, okay? So this is a tremendous opportunity for you. Let's look at, let's don't, because neither one have any warranty. Your car is a, 12-year-old Jaguar with 170,000 miles. This one is a 4-year-old Honda with 55,000 miles. Now, at 250 a month, you've got a 12-year-old car with almost 200,000 miles. At 310, you've got a car that's 4 years old with 55,000 miles. Now, which one of those do you think was going to cost you less to maintain? Especially since it's Jaguar versus Honda. Um, the 310 is going to cost you significantly less. Now, your Jag is nice, which is why we'll give you a grand for it, but tell me, what's the Honda have that your Jag doesn't? Better fuel economy? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? It's equipped. Um, it's, well, it's nicely equipped. 
and certainly it's more reliable. All right, that doesn't apply. So here's, you know, people don't think about it this way, but you know what, it is what it is. Do me a favor, divide 250 by 30. What is the answer? 8.3. 8.3, okay? That's what your JAG cost you per day, $8.30, okay? Now divide 310 by 30. 7.3. That's what your new Honda's going to cost. The difference is $2 a day. Now, don't pay a nickel more a day than you have to, Linda, but for 2 bucks a day, here's what you get. A vehicle that's worth $14,000 more. A vehicle that's going to be significantly less to maintain and significantly less to keep running. And you get a vehicle that's got better fuel economy, nicely equipped, and is way more reliable. Linda, tell me all that is worth $2 a day, and go ahead and okay that right there. No? Okay, I understand. You know what? Most people don't think about a car as a savings account, but fact of the matter is, it, 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 it is way more so than most people think. You've got a payment of $310 at 72 months, okay? price of the vehicle is I'm going to round it up to $15,000. Now, one of the great things about buying a pre-owned car, which is why you're making such a wise move, is the vast majority of the depreciation has already taken place. Six years from now, this vehicle is going to be worth about $10,000. So, if you take the value of this vehicle, which is going to be ten grand six years from now, and you divide that by 72 months, take 10,000 divided by 72, One thirty-eight. that's the portion of the payment that you basically have saved, meaning in six years when you owe nothing on this car, it's still worth $10,000. Divide that by six years and $138 of the 310 has been saved. Take 310, subtract 138. 172. That's what your net payment is here. You're literally going to end up paying 172 a month. Now divide 172 by 30. 5.73. So you drive the 2009 Honda Accord equipped just the way you said it had to be equipped. Um, I haven't even calculated fuel savings. I haven't calculated maintenance savings, and that's all it's going to cost you a day is five dollars and seventy-three cents. I just need you to tell me if that's exactly how you want it titled, then okay it right there. You can't say no, can you? <laughs> <laughs> this is Dan Johnson, a good friend of mine, a partner. Um, uh, I have worked for him. He's been an automobile dealer. He's going to be an automobile dealer again while I'm talking to the camera here. Um, he just met with Adam, who you guys haven't met yet, but you will one day. <laughs> um, and uh, Dan is looking to buy a dealership here in the metro Atlanta area. So, awesome. Okay, now, uh, now, how did you feel as a customer? Do you feel like I was pressuring you at all? Not really. No, I'm using mathematics. Yeah. 